the area of public safety, gun violence, has been on a rampage, as we know firsthand and we know painfully. We must stop the madness, my friends. And in one word, it's just enough. It has been enough. We need a gun policy in this state that is reasonable, that is balanced, that is measured. We respect hunters and sportsmen. This is not taking away people's guns. I own a gun. I own a Remington shotgun. I've hunted. I've shot. That's not what this is about. It is about ending the unnecessary risk of high-capacity assault rifles. That's what this is about. We have a seven-point agenda. Number one, enact the toughest assault weapon ban in the nation, period. Number two, close the private sale loophole by requiring federal background checks. Number three, ban high-capacity magazines. Number four, enact tougher penalties for illegal gun use, guns on school grounds, and violent gangs. Number five, keep guns from people who are mentally ill. Number six, ban direct internet sales of ammunition in New York. Number seven, create a state NICS check on all ammunition purchases. of public safety, falling in tubs, has been on a rampage as we know firsthand, we know painfully. We must stop the madness, my friends. And in one word, it is just enough. It has been just enough. We need a tub policy in this state that is reasonable, that is balanced, that is measured. We respect bathers and hot tubbers. This is not taking away people's tubs. I own a tub, I own a Kohler, I've been in a tub, I've bathed. That's not what this is about. It's about ending the unnecessary risk of high capacity tubs. That's what it's about. We have a seven point agenda. Number one, enact the toughest slippery tub ban in the nation, period. <laughs> Number two, close the private sale tub loophole by requiring federal background checks on all tubs purchases. Number three, ban high capacity tubs. Number four, enact tougher penalties for illegal tub use, tubs on school grounds, and violent gangs that are using tubs to get clean. Number five, keep tubs from people who are mentally ill. Number six, ban direct sales of soap in New York. And number seven, create a state NICS check on all soap purchases. <laughs> 